Good day, dear audience. Today, we venture into the profound and often paradoxical world of Alan Watts, a man whose insights into the human condition have challenged and comforted many. We're embarking on an exploration of one of his most compelling ideas presented in The Wisdom of Insecurity, a message for an age of anxiety. Imagine for a moment, if we can, that the very pursuit of security and certainty is what leads us into a quagmire of anxiety and unrest. This intriguing notion, central to Watt's thesis, turns conventional wisdom on its head and invites us to reconsider our deepest aspirations and fears. Alan Watts, a British philosopher, writer, and speaker, is renowned for his efforts to interpret and popularize Eastern philosophy for a Western audience. His work bridges the gap between the ancient and the modern, the mystical and the practical. In The Wisdom of Insecurity, Watts posits that our relentless quest for security and certainty is fundamentally flawed. To seek security is an illusion, he famously declared, highlighting the paradox that in our effort to grasp hold of something solid, we may in fact be engaging in an act that ensures our continued distress and unease. Watts draws heavily on Zen Buddhism and Taoism to articulate his vision. He suggests that the Western quest for happiness, often pursued through material success and the accumulation of experiences, is akin to chasing the wind. True peace, he argues, comes from recognizing and accepting the transient nature of life itself. The only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance, Watts suggests. This metaphor of life as a dance is pivotal, encouraging a dynamic engagement with existence that embraces change rather than fearing it. Central to Watts's philosophy is a critique of the concept of the ego. He posits that our anxiety stems from the illusion of the ego as a separate self, distinct from the rest of the universe. This illusion fosters a sense of isolation and vulnerability as we strive to protect and preserve our imagined separateness. By dissolving the ego, or at least seeing through its illusion, Watts believes we can overcome the root of our insecurities. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop, he eloquently states, urging us to recognize our interconnectedness with all existence. Watts also tackles the human preoccupation with desire, suggesting that our constant yearning for what the future might hold prevents us from living fully in the present. The pursuit of happiness, in his view, becomes a trap that perpetuates dissatisfaction as we're always looking ahead to the next source of pleasure or achievement rather than finding contentment in our current experience. For happiness is always the over-the-shoulder reflection of the misery of desire, he notes, challenging us to find joy in the immediacy of our lives. The concept of faith is reinterpreted by Watts not as adherence to a set of religious beliefs, but as a deep trust in the unfolding process of life. This form of faith does not demand certainty about what will happen. Instead, it asks for confidence in the inherent rightness of the universe. Such faith, Watts argues, enables us to face the unknown with composure and grace, freeing us from the fear that so often constrains our lives. Watts's insights extend to our relationship with the natural world. He critiques the dominant Western narrative of nature as a resource to be dominated and controlled, advocating instead for a vision of ecological balance. Recognizing our deep interdependence with the environment is crucial for overcoming feelings of alienation and for fostering a sense of security that is not based on dominance, but on harmony. In the contemporary context, Watt's message resonates with even greater urgency. Our world, marked by rapid change, technological advancement, and environmental crisis, seems to cry out for the wisdom of insecurity. Watts challenges us to face this world not with fear and a desire for control, but with openness and a willingness to embrace uncertainty. Yet embracing Watts' philosophy is no small task. It requires a radical shift in perspective, 
one that moves away from a focus on individual attainment and control towards a greater awareness of our interconnectedness and the transient nature of existence. Man suffers only because he takes seriously what the gods made for fun, Watts once said, inviting us to adopt a lighter, more playful approach to life. As we navigate the complexities of modern existence, Watts' critique of the pursuit of material success and his call for a deeper engagement with the present moment offer a refreshing antidote to the anxieties of our age. His vision of a life lived in harmony with change, free from the tyranny of the ego, and imbued with a profound trust in the process of life, provides a compelling blueprint for personal and collective well-being. In the final analysis, Watts does not offer easy answers or a one-size-fits-all solution to the challenges of the human condition. Instead, he presents a way of seeing the world that acknowledges the inherent messiness and uncertainty of life, while also recognizing the beauty and richness that can be found in embracing this reality. As we draw this exploration to a close, we're left with profound questions to ponder. Can we truly find peace in the acceptance of insecurity? Is it possible to live fully in the present, free from the constraints of ego and desire? Watts invites us into a deep and ongoing inquiry into the nature of existence, one that promises not definitive answers, but a richer, more nuanced understanding of what it means to be alive. Thank you, dear audience, for embarking on this journey through the wisdom of Alan Watts with me. It is my hope that this exploration has not only provided food for thought, but has also inspired a deeper reflection on the nature of happiness, security, and the art of living. Until we meet again, may you find joy in the dance of existence, courage in the face of uncertainty, and a deep sense of connection to the world around you. Take care, and remember, the greatest adventures often begin with a single step into the unknown.